Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary Do Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Oh, today I am working on putting together some shadow boxes. I got this idea from my dear friend Gail over at Gail Patricia Dollar Tree Halls and more. She makes shadow boxes out of these magnetic tins that you get from the Dollar Tree. And when I saw what she was up to and doing, I thought, oh my gosh, yes, I got to try this and I really want to do this. So I want to put 12 of these together for uh, the girls um, from church. We get together and have activities each month. Of course, we haven't had activities since the pandemic started, but I still wanted to get them uh, or make them a little gift for Christmas. So what I started out doing is um, I wanted to uh, cut out the paper that's going to create the background for these shadow boxes. So I went into Cricut Design Space and my husband figured out the dimension. It is 3.4. So you select the shape circle and punch in 3.4 for the width and the length. So that's how uh, we got. I got started with that. So then see, it fits in there just perfectly. Okay. So then I selected some paper. And what I wanted to select was Christmas paper that had snowflakes on it. So I... Um, put that through the Cricut and I uh, got six pieces of this so I did several of those and then I had some other paper I wanted to use and this is double-sided so I had so I'll probably do like three of that pale pink three of the blue three of this maroonish color and three of the purple uh, what I'm gonna do next is just glue that in and then I will be back and show you uh, each step that I'm going to do and how I'm building this and putting it together. So this is going to be done in several seg video segments um, uh, because I want to do it in an assembly style production kind of thing. So uh, I'm going to glue all of those in and then uh, and it may do be done like in several days so I'm not going to do it all at one time so you'll see me back but probably dressed differently so I will be back to show you what my next step is all right I got all the papers glued down all the circles glued down in the bottom of the container so I'm going to do one more and show you how I do it so again you take the lid off some are really hard to take off uh, and then all I'm using is this Eileen's glue that I get from Dollar Tree and I just put a little on the bottom. So I'm just going to spread a little bit around. And then to spread it evenly, I'm using this mask applicator that I got from Dollar Tree. It's a, like a silicone tip. And um, I thought it would be kind of really good to use it for that. So that's what I'm kind of doing right there. And it seems like it's spreading it out evenly, you know, um, so there's no like real lumps or anything. So that's all I'm doing. And then of course that will be easy cleanup. And then all I do is lay that in there like that. And then I just give it some pressure to make sure it's, you know, glued in there pretty good. And there you go. That is that step. So I have all the backgrounds uh, glued in. So I will be back to show you the next step. All right. The next little thing I wanted to do to add to these uh, shadow boxes is diamond wrap around the rim of the lid. So this one I did in the pink. So you see that all the way around just on the rim. And um, the diamond wrap comes, it's from Dollar Tree and it comes in a roll. Um, I think it says seven feet. And it is adhesive diamond wrap. That's the nice thing. You just peel it and stick it on. And so it comes in the silver or clear, however you want to look at it, a green tint and a pink tint. So that's what I'm using. I'm using either the pink or the clear. So on the ones that have the blue paper in the back or that was glued uh, in, in on the bottom or the background, I put silver all the way around. 
uh, the ones that had the pink uh, paper has the pink diamond wrap all the way around. The ones that had the purple background, I put, I think I put pink, or no, I put the silver, <laughs> can't even tell, either one will work. And then uh, this one is the like dark pink maroonish kind of, I think it's pink, uh, paper. Um, I'm going to put the clear. So it comes in a, a, a roll like this and you just peel, if I can do this, you just peel the paper back like that. And then all I'm going to do is go around the edge and there is a little lip on that edge. That's what I'm feeling as I go around and it's quite easy. You can kind of peel it up if you're not going really straight, which, yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, and you just kind of, you know, peel the backing off and just go around and stick it on. And I thought that would be a nice little uh, glitzy, sparkly touch to these um, frames or to these shadow boxes. So see, I didn't get it kind of straight there. And then when you get to the other end, I just uh, make sure I have enough, and then I just, careful, I'm using scissors. <laughs> I just, gotta, I gotta look in the light here. I just kind of uh, trim it. And then you have everything stuck down like that. See how easy that was? And so that is the next little thing I got done and that doesn't affect how it closes or anything. So there is the next thing that I did for these shadow boxes. Yeah, let's go on to the next thing. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I put all the little components together to make the shadow box. So far, I've uh, glued in the decorative paper in the back and I learned something that I shouldn't have used uh, the, the Eileen's glue for it. I did a few more with just a glue stick and they, they glued in a lot better. The ones that I did with the Eileen's glue kind of bubbled up a little, but it really doesn't show up that bad once I start putting everything else in. So <clears throat> let me just wrap this up and show you how I put them all together. So my husband cut out these foam pieces or styrofoam into these little wedge pieces and we got this at the Dollar Tree and you get two circle ones and he just he he just that's his thing he, he does that for me so um, what I'm gonna do now is hot glue that into here so let's do that and I thought at first the hot glue would kind of destroy the um, styrofoam because sometimes it can just melt it and but it didn't it really did it works really really well I've put the majority of these together uh, this is the last one I got to do and yay I'm excited so okay I hot glued that in that's how that looks okay now I'm gonna hot glue the little tree And I'll show you how I position that in just a minute. Just let it adhere. There's the tree. Now the little figurine, which is Santa. I'm just going to put hot glue. Not all the way, uh, mo probably uh, because he kind of hangs off the edge a little bit. I'm not going all around just halfway from the back to halfway and then hot glue him in yep there he is cute then I have a snowflake I want to hot glue to the background 
and I'm just trying to take the little sticky off. I am going to hot glue it even because it has have a sticker, but it doesn't really stick that well. And just a little dab of hot glue, not too much. Oops, I got a string. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> gosh, excuse me. There is the little snowflake right there. Now, on this wedge piece, on the ground, this little wedge piece, I'm going to put glue on it. And I'm gonna use this glue. I'm gonna use a little bit of Eileen's glue. I'm just going to put some on here, kind of generously. And then between Santa and the tree, and next to the tree. And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. Easy, easy. All right. And I'm going to just kind of make sure I got it in there, okay? All right. And so there's the glue. I don't know if you can see it, but I put glue on that wedge piece. Now, I have my snow that I bought from Dollar Tree, the one that has like little bits of uh, glitter. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's glitter. Um, I don't know what it's, what's in this snow, but it is really, really pretty. So I have a little bowl here. So I'm going to sprinkle this in here. And so it will stick to the spots I have glue on. Okay. I'm going to kind of tap it and make sure that it's where it needs to go and stick where it needs to stick. And then I'll tap the excess out onto my bowl. Oh yeah, that looks cute. Okay. Remove my snow out of the way. <laughs> Otherwise it'll be all over. So here is what it looks like with the snow. Of course, it's still wet, needs to dry. Then I can put the cover on, and that little shadow box is done. Yes, uh, I've made 14 of these. This is the last one, but I wanted to show you how I put it all together. Isn't that cute? Again, the lid has the diamond wrap ribbon all the way around, and that is my shadow box uh, Christmas scene. These are going to go to the girls at church for Christmas time along with the squishy that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And then on the back I made these, uh, I just got label, uh, address labels and I put who it was from, me and my companion from church, uh, her, her name and my name, and Christmas 2020. That is it. So I will let this dry, put those with the others, and this project is done. So I hope you guys, uh, you know, go out and try this. I mean, everything here is from the Dollar Tree, except the paper. Uh, but, you know, we all have paper in our stash. You can kind of figure out. And they don't have to be Christmas scenes. You can be creative and do other scenes. I bought extras of these containers so I can do, um, like, spring scenes like with flowers and butterflies and stuff like that but be creative give it a try it is easy to put together uh, the only thing I didn't do is cut that wedge uh, with the styrofoam my husband did that for me but other than that super duper easy quick to put together and uh, a lot of fun and it is so cute so I want to thank my dear dear friend Gail over at Gail Patricia Dollar Tree Halls and more for inspiring me to do this and again this was her idea uh, but I hope she doesn't mind uh, I just like loved it and I'm like yes I'm gonna try this and they did come out super duper cute yeah thank you Gail so much and thank thank you for hanging out with me for workshop Wednesday um, I hope you guys will I'm looking for something <laughs> I hope you guys will, uh, you know, try some of these things that I am showing you and uh, go out and be creative, try new things. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know where my remote went. So we're just going to do this the old fashioned way. Be safe, be happy, be positive. And until next time, you guys rock.